He lost both of those. Is it a case for him a third time looking? And James Wade, a brilliant, brilliant performance from him last night, said he needs to follow that up, as he said. Underpinning that, uh, just under that was stats. 6-12 Dardes. 6-180s. A 1-4-4-1-3-2 and 2 one sixes. If Wade can come out trapping like that, he will establish another leader. Remember John Yeriko? He opened up with 4-1 against Taylor at this stage in the final. Yep, that's right. Couldn't maintain it, but uh, certainly has proved this week that he's much more mature even than he was a year ago. So too is Adrian Lewis. And, uh, well, maybe, maybe it's time for the young guns to take over. Who knows? Well, Dave Clark's lovely phrase, maybe we're looking at the future. This kid's only 24. And what do the bookies say? John, you know it better than me, it looks fine. But it seems that Jenkins is the favourite of the bookies as well. Yes, that's right. And uh, the, the reason is, Sid, if you look at his performances during the week, against Tabern, he averaged 95.2, against Part, 93, against ba uh, Baxter, 92, oh, no, no. and against Taylor, 95 and a half. There's a consistency there about uh, Jenkins' game. Rather more mercurial is this fella. And uh, again, underpinning that consistency, Two of those names John just mentioned were world champions, right? Took out Hart, took out Taylor, did Jenks. But also, you've got to remember, this lad took out Priestley, also a world champion. So, this is the future of Tungsten flinging. Well, double 18 for a superstar, a 14 darter, pinning the doubles last night uh, like nobody's business. In a 68% checkout record. And in the middle of the game, it was just on 70, which is brilliant. He gets Whoa. another visit, though. Yeah, now. He wants two way teams to open his account. Yes. Big the bad, Johnny. Yep, that's rather the bad indeed. That's what he was doing so consistently last night. In fact, in 17 attempts, a successful attempt at the double on only two occasions did he need to go back a second time as we get our first 180 of this 14th world match play final well i've been cracking up the way brilliant shooting out three dollars the thing that made this man's reputation in the premier dark league for the first six months of the year yeah was shots between 120 and 130. last night he topped that 110 116 and 158 so they are both brilliant on the three dark combinations in that area around 120. Yeah, absolutely. I shouldn't uh, forget the fact that uh, Jenkins himself averaged uh, had a percentage of uh, 59 last night, and between them, these two hit 34 doubles in 54 attempts. I can't remember a final where the two have gone into it with a record like that. Exactly. John Part against Bobby George in the final, 94, 64% average, but you're right. Swain gets going on the max as well. You're right. Two blokes checking out of that percentage I've never seen before. Absolutely fantastic, Sid, and if they do it tonight, well, as Eric said, we're in for a rather a remarkable contest. Wade off kilt out with the first start of that combo. Jenks for level is looking at all a 16. 44. First requisite. Red treble. He wants fat 16 for tops. He wants the top lipstick. Too high. Yep. At one half expected to go in uh, following on from last night. Yeah, they missed that against Taylor as uh, James Wade looks for a break of throw here. Tops for him now. The one that Jenkins couldn't get. Wade, oh well, we'll never know, Sid, whether that would have made its way through. Awkward dart, awkward lie. Topsy wants. That's a marker. That's the dip. Dips. Level devils as the crowd. Get the feel of life here in the Rococo Palace that is the Winter Gardens Blackpool. 140. Well, I heard one or two uh, people last night after the two semi-finals saying 
Uh, there'll be a lot of people staying away. They see there's no real sort of stardom up on that stage. <laughs> no such thing. There's real stardom on the stage, real quality on the stage, and a full house in front of it. 41. Came to the Premier Dark League and they were saying, Terry, who? Well, despite an 8 0 zip in by Colin Lloyd, he was clattering. 120s and 130s at will and showing no respect or should I say enough respect but not too much to the best yeah dead right sit 86 so 86 2 3 4 Jenkins turn possibly to uh, execute a, a break opportunity 140. Let's give you a big boost of confidence when you're beating two world champions to get here like Jenks has. Beat part, beat Taylor, didn't beat Taylor, whopped Taylor. 100. Terry so require 86. And Wade was so consistent, it was brilliant. Give up his job a year ago as a mechanic because of his brilliant form. They're talking to last year's final. Could go one better here, could be the champ in Blackpool. Well, 86 when he went, and uh, he was looking at treble 14 there for tops. 28. But uh, he knows that he'll be back unless Wade does what he did last night a time or two, and that is take out a three-figure score. There's no reason why shouldn't he's contemplating whether to go for another treble 20. Or, oh, he's gone the treble 18. He wants double 10 here. Oh, Sydney, one, three, four. Brilliant. Where he left off last night with a ton plus finish. Now that could be very ominous, Anna. I know there's only been about what 45 yards thrown, but if Wade picks up where he left out last night, this could be a Canaan for Jenks. Well, he, it's interesting. It's a total naturalist lad. That last night, second leg, he took out 132 on the ball, 100. and uh, he said afterwards. That's where I believe I won it. When he was actually examining the score sheet, he said, when I, when that went in, that ball went in, he said, you don't know what that did to my self-belief. I reckon that 1-3-4 might just, just have the same effect. Agreed. Well, that's a good example of days. When I first started this, the lads went to the pub and had a few shandies and a few sherbets. These days, they go look at the averages so they can improve the next day. Well... In Wade's case, what an improvement. 89 against Jones, 85. 87 against Priestley, 90 against King, 101.9 against Lewis. <laughs> That's why I said he's a touch mercurial, Sid. And I know a Geordie who had the final penciled in is two Stokies, Taylor and Lewis. Mind, I did predict the demise of Bonnie. Not far away from the 60. Oh, and looking at the last dart. Anyway, surely, Johnny, he can't follow by 132 with a bing, bing, bing on 161. No, perhaps asking too much. And of course, he doesn't have to because uh, Jenkins, unlike before, is not on a finish. So a genuine chance for a Wade break of throw. To say the key thing is in the defeat of each of them of Taylor and Adrian Lewis is enough respect but not too much. He wants double 18 for 3 1. Across the board, a great bit. Just not enough legs. Yes, again, I really expected that to go in. He picked that off a couple of times at a vital stage in last night's match, the double nine, but uh, now. Jenkins, 88 wanted, 87, he'll have to come for treble 17. Waywardness to say the least. 22. Oh, well, 22 in the end. Um, so another chance for Wade. Oh, he wants seven. He can't believe it. So three for double two. I'm sure that's the way he'll go. That's the easy bit. Double two. Mile away, mile away, bad shot. then 70 left he'll go the treble 20 double five route bull you see beckons lovely lovely wake, wake on the shot but lost the line completely 3-1 to wadey house of the mad up there once 